Hello, everyone. Here we talk about the percentile. We all know about median. Median is the value that sits in the middle location of the sorted data collection. Median can also be set the value where the whole set of data is divided into two parts, with equal quantity of data. Fifty percent of data are on the left side of the median, and fifty percent of the data. Are on the right side of the median. Here it is. So median is the value right in the middle location. Median is the value to separate the data into two groups with equal counts. Median is not necessarily the value in the data collection. Percentile. If we get the median of the left half of the data and the median. Of the right half of the data, then we have three values. These three values separate the whole data collection into four groups with equal counts. Twenty-five percent of data belong to each group. So these three values are called quartiles. We use Q1, Q2. And the Q3 to represent them from left to right. Obviously, Q2 is the median of the whole data collection. Q1 is the median of the left side, and Q3 is the median of the right side, half of the whole data collection. A value separates the whole set of data into two groups. Twenty percent of data are on the left side of this value, and eighty percent of data are on the right side of this value. Then this value is called the twentieth percentile. Generally speaking, if the value separates p percent on the left side and one minus p percent on the right side, then the value is called the pth percentile. Just like the both charts showing on the screen, so you can see, twentieth percentile is the value separate the whole data collection into two parts, and the piece value does the same thing as well. We just have the different percentage on each side. There are always two steps to find the value of piece percentile. First step. Is to calculate the position LP, which means where the piece percentile is located, and then second step is to find the value sitting on that position from the sorted data collection. The formula to calculate the position is shown below. LP represents the location of piece. Percentile. So we use n plus one multiply p percent. N is the sample size, which is how many data in this data collection, total number of data in the data collection. We can follow this process to find all the percentile and the quartiles. Clearly, fifty percentile is the median. Twenty-fifth percentile is the first quartile, and seventy-fifth percentile is the third quartile. So, no matter which one, either median quartile or any percentiles, they can all follow these two steps being figured out. Here's an example: the marketing team at the internet music side wants to understand who its customers are. The team sends out a survey to 25 customers asking for demographic information. One of the variables is customers' age. So here we have a collection of 25 ages. We want to find the quartiles, 20th percentile, and draw the box plot. For the quartile. We use the sample size 25 plus 1 multiply 25 percent. 
multiply 25 percent is same as divide by four. That's exactly what the quarter is about. One over four is 25 percent. So we turn out 6.5 is the location for the first quartile. We can also use L, generally speaking, 25th percentile. So 25th, here we use 25%, same thing. 6.5 position, so that means this position is between 6 and 7. Right in the middle of these two numbers, as you can see, 19, the value sit on the 6th position, and the 23 is a sitting on the 7th position. So in that case, we want some kind of value in the middle, so we can just use the middle value of these two numbers. 19 plus 23 divided by 2 give us 21. So we will say first quartile is 21. Similarly, we can calculate position for second quartile or for median. So that is 25 plus 1 divided by 2, which is a 13. At the 13th position, we find the value 30. So the second quartile, Q2, is 30. Similarly, we can find the location for third quartile. We use 25 plus 1 divided by 4 and then multiply by 3, give us the value 19.5, which is the location 19.5 between 19th and 20th position. So we can come out to the third quartile by using the midpoint of these two values on 19th and 20th position. 38 plus 40 divided by 2 give us the value 39. With knowing three quartiles and the minimum value and the maximum value, so here we have five key values. So with these five key values, we can draw the box plot. We draw the line first. We mark five key values on this axis. And then we draw the rectangular box from the first quartile to third quartile. Then we mark the second quartile or the median inside the box. So we can tell this rectangular box carried 50% of the data. And then we mark the minimum value and the maximum value. And then we connect them. Here we done box plot. Now let's find the 20th percentile. We use the formula, come out of the position or location for 20%. So 25 plus 1 multiply 20% give us 5.2. So the position is a 5.2. That's where 20th percentile is located. So that means it is between 5th position and 6th position. And from the original data, we can see 18 sits on the 5th position, 19 sits on 6th position. And we are looking for what kind of value sits on 5.2 position. We can estimate. Typical way we do it, start from 18, and we let's see the 20%, how much it worth. So that means we need to know from 5th position to 6th position how much value it is. So that's the difference. 19 minus 18 give us the values 1. So for the value 1, 20% of the value would be 0 0.2. So in that case, 18 plus 0 0.2 give us the answer. 18.2 is the 20th percentile. That's the answer we're looking for. Take this chance, we also can see this is just a reasonable way to figure out the 20th percentile. 
Technically speaking, with the definition, we say the 20th percentile cut the whole data collection into two groups. Left side is 20% of data, and the right side 20% of 80% of data. So if we say 18.2 can make it happen, 18.3 can make it happen as well, 18.5 can make it happen as well. So you can see, technically speaking, the percentile is not unique. We only give you a reasonable way to figure it out. So actually, there are many different ways to estimate the percentile. They may come out different answer. So here's the chance you understand the situation. We're going to show you in Excel to how to find out percentile quartile. So here we have our 25 numbers copied in Excel worksheet. So we have them located from A1 to A25, as what you can see. Now we try to fill the blue area, just to let you see how you can find out this in Excel very conveniently. Minimum value, you can simply type in minimum, and your data location A1, A25. So here give you the minimum value, and the maximum value, A1, a25 here give you maximum value quartile here you can see excel accept the two different formula for finding quartile one is exc exclusive another one's inc inclusive most time we use exclusive they're just uh, slightly different they may give you different answer we already explained the why, so don't worry about that. They all estimate. We do not have exact method, and the quartile or percentiles are not unique. So here we go, A1, A25. And when you look for first quartile, you give the param parameter, indicate the first. So that's our first quartile. So here, since we already done this, we can copy that. We put it here, just to change the parameter. That's our second quartile. And then again, we change the parameter. This is our third quartile. For percentile, equal percentile, again. Here also we have two choices, exclusive or inclusive. We choose exclusive. A1, A25, and then we can directly type in 20%, or you use 0 0.2, that's fine. So here give us answer, 18.2. Exactly same as what we just calculated. See you next time.